So because of an anonymous complaint, their daughter would be taken into custody by the state, the FCS. The couple was devastated and then was required by D. I think they got it. I've never seen it written like this, so I'm going to say it how I say it because it's like a tongue twister for me. DCFS to take parenting classes, alcohol counseling, and psychological evaluations if they wanted to get their child back. All the courses cost money, for which most parents are required to pay. Yeah, well, especially if, you, um, if you've got in your, not your parental rights terminated, but your uh, services. Um, the majority of the time, they, they like to uh, terminate the parents' uh, reunification services, so it makes it harder and uh, even makes it uh, better for them so they can actually um, you know, follow through with their goal of adopting out the child. So while in their anxiety and turmoil to get their child home, the baby was left for hours in a car to die in the heat in her car seat by a foster parent who forgot about the child. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. This should never have happened. It is tragic. Man, see, that's horrible. And had they not, if they never would have took that child, that child would probably still be alive, poor baby. In many cases, after the parents have jumped through, oh wow, yep, it is, it's exactly my story, almost. After the parents have jumped through all the hoops, they still did not get their child. Yep, just like me. I did everything they said. I did the whole case plan. I did the classes. I did the groups. I went to the, you know, AA meetings, NA meetings. And this was all over anonymous, once again, anonymous phone call. And uh, allegations, everything that was never uh, proven to be true, just... You know, he said, she said, basically, and someone who wasn't even credible because it was anonymous, once again, an anonymous phone tip. And, um, yep, um, but my, my case was, I actually was in the hospital. I just had my daughter, my firstborn. And uh, so, long story short, I did all of that and um, got my certificates and everything to prove, you know, that I was, what would you say, fit, a uh, fit parent to, to actually be a parent. In their, uh, in their eyes, according to their standards. And the judge uh, totally uh, disregarded all of my efforts and hard, I would say hard-earned efforts. It was six months I did that. I was originally uh, required to only do 90 days. Well, I did 90 extra days. So they really couldn't tell me no. Well, they still did. And um, unfortunately, um, by the time my daughter was about a year old, um, they adopted her out to my cousin, and um, my cousin um, has her, and she's seven years old now, but um, I still have not seen her since she was five months, five and a half months old, so that's that. Oh, okay, so... So the parents had jumped through all the hoops. They still did not get their child back. As long as the child is not returned, there is money for the agency, meaning adoption incentive, incentives. Ding, 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 ding. Ching, 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 ching. So for foster parents and for adopted parents and for the state. That tax dollars are being used to keep this gigantic system afloat. And it's a billion dollar industry. It's a business. That's um, this guy is under this Child Protective Services, aka CPS. Yet the victims, the parents, the grandparents, the guardians, and especially the children are charged for the system services blows my mind that grandparents have called from all over the state of georgia and from other states trying to get custody of their grandchild grandchildren cps claims relatives are contacted 
but there are many, many cases that prove differently. Grandparents who lose their grandchildren to strangers have lost their own flesh and blood, not to mention their their roots, you know? Their family tree is just erased. The children lose their, yeah, exactly. The children lose their family heritage and grandparents and parents too lose all connections to their heirs. Yep, just like that, they just erase the family tree like it never existed and replaced with a whole different family. That the National Center on Child Abuse and Neglect in 1998, well, that's the year my mom actually uh, went to prison. I'm sorry, you guys, I keep interrupting. This is just, it's insane, all this stuff. Um, yeah, my mom went to prison in 1998. I was, um, I was actually nine years old, and um, she was sentenced to life in prison. She's still there, actually. She should be getting out in a couple years, hopefully, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to try not to <laughs> interrupt anymore. Um, so, the National Center on Child Abuse and Neglect in 1998 reported that